We were able to capture four different kits. We have the same room, right. the same amazing drummer, exactly. the same mics, same mics, the same temperature. We didn't change the temperature either. The same engineer, the same preamp, everything's the same. Let's also add they're the same the drum dimension. Right. So they're exactly. each the different exactly. ones, but the exact same yep. sizes, which is like an 8 by 12, yep. mm -hmm. 16 by 16. Mm -hmm. 16 by 22 and a 5 by 14 snare drum. Mm -hmm. So that's the same for all the kit. Right. The same heads, mm -hmm. you know, the, the two ply double A heads, the same. That makes it a very level playing field to where we're yeah. literally Just hearing the, to the differences in these shells, yep. you know, on this the, wood. The, the, I use, you know, classic standard mics, RE20, D112 on the kick, mm -hmm. 57s top and bottom. Sure. KM84 on the hat, mm -hmm. 87s for the overheads, C12s for the uh, rooms. 421. Uh, 421s for the toms, yeah. yeah. So it's, you know, pretty standard, nothing yeah. special. Yeah. But I uh, just wanted to talk about that it is the purest as it is. No EQ, no, no compression. Because yeah. this is a true AB. I don't think, I've never done this. I don't right. think a lot of people, when they AB things, they go this sort of deep into it. So no, that's a hundred percent. Yeah, and the tuning was so close, it makes it even more. Of and a, yeah, and we got the exactly same yeah, exactly like what it was on the different kits. Like that's crazy. Yeah, these guys marked everything, so everything was right back. We took pictures, so we try to get it as close to every kit, uh, uh, miking wise and placement wise as possible. So yeah, I'll, I'll start with the uh, let's start with Groove One. We started with maple, and you know, that's a very versatile, you know, mm -hmm. wood because mm -hmm. it's like you can do a lot with the tuning. It was just easy. It just seemed sure. like it just it just sounds like mm -hmm. ready to go. Mm -hmm. And then when you put up the birch, it's like not that it's better, it's just different. You know what I mean? It had a different thing. I felt like it had a little bit more even um, high end, a little bit more crack as it were. Um, I like the bass drum a lot too. The bass drum, you know, really sounded great on the uh, Birch kit. And then um, the Oak, I was surprised. I, I'm not even used to playing that. Mm -hmm. That had a very vast level of, uh, of, of lows and deep within the fundamental. Even though they're all tuned damn near exactly the same, um, you still could feel some of those sub frequencies in the Oak 100%. Right. So by the time we got to the Cherry, I mean, you know, you're like, okay, it can't get any better get it, or any different. And it's like, there's a cherry with its <laughs> own, complete own yeah. sound, you know? So it's quite amazing how each drum had its own life. Like you said, they all have their own sort of sound and feel to yeah. them. So I got it queued up for the uh, the tom section. So I'll okay. play a little bit. We'll just, you know, we'll maybe describe a little bit on your end and my end, and then we'll go through the four different kits and see what we can... Uh, Okay. Discover on this side of the glass. Yep. Of course, they all sound great, but they definitely have different characteristics. And between the first two, the pure maple and the pure birch, the birch just has a, yeah. it's just a different little mojo on it, and that's just... What Maybe that has to do with the decay as well. Yeah, the, the decay. decay that makes them that makes the notes a little more connected. Yeah, because right? it just seems like at it's, least for this groove. Yeah, yeah exactly. Because that's a groove where if the toms are kind of doing a lot of ringing and a lot of weird stuff, you're gonna get keep messy. Hearing, yeah, yeah. yeah, and it's not. They're still very clean. To not have any compression or gates is yeah. crazy. What I get on this side is it feels more musical. Yeah. Now, the, the other one didn't. It just feels a little more even. Would maybe yeah. be a better. Well, you know, it's tough because you're not putting it against anything other musical elements. Right. You're just going drums the amongst purest, themselves. Yeah, we yeah, don't yeah. have a bass to go next to. We don't have a keyboard sure. to go next to. This would be the oak. Wow. Yeah. Like, <laughs> what is the word? I don't know. Is it like mellower? I don't know how to say it because it still has such a beef to it, but it almost sounds a little bit like you really 
literally made made sure they were the same, like mm-hmm. the Tom and the Floor Tom, and it's still just naturally mm-hmm. like that. I'm not playing it any softer. Something in the mids is happening on the lower mid mm-hmm. that kind of jumps out a little more. Mm. And again, the part. The yeah. part is like a little more smack, but a little mellower smack. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's almost like we're talking about almost the opposite th- in motion, but, right. but it's still the same. The last one here on the toms, which is the cherry kit. <laughs> Sound like you, the EQ went. Went up, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right in those like high mids, it's like, sure. you know what I mean? On the yeah, attack, like the crazy. high mid and even yeah. some of the mids on that tom on the rack. Yeah. Uh, the low tom seems to be going even lower, but yeah. I mean, it's amazing that they're all, they all sound so beautiful. It just still blows my mind that different woods will have this much of an impact. Right? Yeah, and you know and what? it's all preference. There's like we said, it's not better or worse. Exactly. It's just a preference. And yeah. you know, it's I like blue, you like red, or right. Right? you know. It's funny because it's it's for me, it's like compressors. You have your eleven seventy six and you have an LA two A mm-hmm. EQs, you got a pull tick or you have a mm-hmm. a Neve. Mm-hmm. I mean, they're doing the same thing. They're both EQs. 100 percent But they all they both have their own character. And to yeah. the more we know about that in music, the more weapons we have, right? Yeah. And it's really important to know all the different personalities in the different woods in the drum kit and the right. different EQs, the different drumsticks even. It still blows my mind that something so simple can make such a big difference. Now, yeah. do you want to go to the third groove, which That's is more, more snare of the, uh, the snare, right? yeah. side stick. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's start with the maple. Yeah, man. <laughs> I'm basically muting a lot of the, you know, regular open snare drum mm-hmm. sound. So you're just giving the rim shot and a side stick. So, you know, you can quickly tell the difference. They're all retuned virtually exactly mm-hmm. the same, mm-hmm. but I feel like you can tell the quality is a little bit just straight on because it's like there's no length on it. Right, right, right. I call that a clap stick where I'm like kind of muting the, the snare Head, with the yeah. palm of my hand. So, right. I mean, and, it, and it's staccato too. Mm-hmm, so it mm-hmm. also, to me, brings the bass drum out. You know what I mean? Because I was going to say, yeah, yeah the, the bass drum, especially on the uh, Birch Kid, was like, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of like they were married right. a little bit more. There was more of a marriage. The yeah, other one. It's, it's, it's muting it mm-hmm. so while you're hitting the bass drum right. as opposed to before, where it could be some right, overtone, right, right. it's a little bit more mm-hmm. subdued, you know? Mm-hmm. Let's listen to Oak and then we'll go right into the cherry. Wow. I tell you, I'm surprised how much I personally like Oak. <laughs> right, <laughs> you know? right. Like, it's saying a lot, man. It's uh, saying, man. There's some, you know, Something very interesting about it, at least in my ears. I think out of all these, the surprise is the oak. Yeah. Because I'm not used mm-hmm. to, yeah. you know, that's not sure. a, I didn't, you know, that's not a very popular mm-hmm. wood uh, in the past for drums. And to hear them sound like that mm-hmm. is unbelievable, the characteristics. Mm-hmm. The cherry, you know, I, I definitely, you know, I have a thing about cherry. I, I know what that sounds like, you know. On this snare groove, it's like you're hearing a lot more of the other stuff, especially the kick. You um, that low, the, the yeah. floor tom as well. Yeah, and the floor tom too. Yeah, the floor tom is sounding crazy. Yeah, for me personally, it was such an such an amazing thing to do. First of all, we don't get to A, B that much no. nowadays when it comes to stuff like this. I mean... We sat here in A B Woods right. on drum kits. <laughs> right. That's <laughs> right. That's pretty amazing that we're able to do that. Right. Even within the different woods, I could hear different almost emotion and tonal mm-hmm. difference and of course all of that. But I'm even shocked that there's that much of a difference. Right. Knowing your colors, knowing your voices and recognizing what you gravitate to more yeah. makes you 
you know, gives you that edge. And then yeah. you can get so much deeper, like you can say, you know what, I like an oak right. kick. Right. You know? Yeah. And the birch snare right. really gives me this what I connect to. And all of a sudden you're I mean, this is way more complicated and yeah. uh, advanced, but who knows, you can literally learn your woods from here and know that, you know what, man, I prefer X, Y, and Z. You know, back in the day, there wasn't this many choices. Right. So you as an artist, you know, a drummer as an artist, it allows him to say, well, this is what my heart's mm -hmm. telling me. This is what I'm gravitating yep. towards rather than just, you sure. know, getting something for how it looks. You know what I mean? Sure, sure. And it makes it a much more personal thing to where this is my sound. You yeah. know what I mean? Which is, which is amazing. <laughs> 